Hey, what's up? I'm Runestone Gaming. I stream this and many other games over at Twitch, Tuesday through Friday. We'd love to see you over there. I know you're all here for the Dyson Sphere program tips and tricks, so let's begin. Number one. Early game mech power equals coal. Energy for your mech isn't hard to come by, but efficient energy for your mech is. Ignore the wood and bushes and grab some coal. Don't even use the wood and bushes. It's simply too inefficient. Your bots use energy and so do you. Building lots of stuff will require lots of energy. I also suggest you unlock smelter purification as soon as possible so you can upgrade the coal to a far more energy efficient resource called energetic graphite. Number two, find a stone node. Farming individual stones is lame. Drop a miner on a stone node. It might be a little far away, but you're gonna need a ton of stone early and mid game. Number three, you shift to ignore grid snapping. By holding shift and pressing R, you can rotate your miner. This will optimize the angle and provide you with a better output. Number four, use your number and function keys. When building, use your number and function keys. Using your number and function keys will make it so you're not always clicking on new items. Don't be a clicker. It makes the building process far more efficient and you'll be on finger memory soon enough. Number five, the replicator. Double click a hotkey to bring up the replicator. This will allow you to easily identify the items required to make the buildings you seek. The same can be done with components. Need a specific component? Double click on it to bring up what you need. Also, use incremental values by changing the one times number at the bottom right of the replicator screen. Number six, A, B, C. Always be crafting. Your replicator is a great way to speed up some of the things needed in the game. By constantly crafting in your replicator, you ensure you always have plenty of belts or Tesla towers. Oh, I gotta keep making Tesla towers. Number seven, learn some hotkeys. You currently cannot change hotkeys and well, this is what we're stuck with for now. Shift left click on a building to copy it, X to delete a building, B to pull up your building grid. This is nice when you need to align buildings far away. C to pull up not only your mecha panel, but your inventory. F to pull up your replicator. With your inventory open, shift left click items to pull the entire stack out of a machine or storage. Control left click to pull out the entire type out of an inventory. Press up arrow or down arrow to raise or lower conveyor belts. To delete items or buildings, select the item using left click and press delete on your keyboard. Really, just delete. You can also mass delete by pressing control, left clicking to lift all those up, and you can also press delete. There's also a nice little arrow inside the inventory. It looks like a little, little, little turn arrow here. Click that little arrow to sort and stack items in your inventory. Number eight, automate one of everything. Don't focus too much on obtaining perfect logistical lines for items. You can do that later. Instead, focus on getting at least one of the items producing and focus on the exact math later. New unlocks will make things easier, such as higher speed belts and sorters. Once you unlock some of the tech, it gives you better opportunity to make more efficient automation. Number nine, unlock the matrix. Unlock the matrix and start farming as soon as possible. Go straight for electromagnetic matrix. Develop a farm to create a matrix that's separate from your normal production. That will be in a future video. Keep an eye out for that. Number 10, Matrix Labs. Matrix Labs is where your research cubes will be generated as well as your research will be done automatically. Stack Matrix Labs on top of each other for faster research. Don't worry, your cubes will travel upwards. This also works when creating the cubes. You can stack your matrixes up on each other to create cubes more efficiently. Whatever you stack up will copy whatever is below. Keep this in mind also with storages. You could stack up storages and they work in the exact same manner. Remember to queue up research and mech upgrades. No need to stand around. Number 11, unlock mech upgrades early. Your mech is a lumbering beast. Increasing movement makes the game a whole lot easier to navigate. There are plenty of great upgrades like mech frame, which increases your movement and my favorite, inventory capacity. I'm always running out of space. On that note, you will need Drive Engine 2 in order to effectively orbit your planet or moon. Number 12, use wide open areas. Don't reduce yourself to a small area. Give yourself breathing room and expansion room by building far between. You might have a harder time with traveling, but in the long run, it'll be worth it. You'll find yourself building additional logistics or buildings and be glad you've given yourself some room. Number 13, hover over components and buildings. By hovering over items and buildings, you get more detailed tooltips such as power usage or where the component or building is built. This is great information to know when planning out a factory. You can also hover over components to find out the various ways in which you can make them. For example, when hovering over hydrogen, 
you can see that there are multiple ways to produce it. Number 14, maximize throughput. You can maximize the throughput, which is essentially the output and inputs of machines by adding additional sorters. Using multiple sorters will increase that throughput into the storage or the machine. Number 15, sorters. Towards mid game, when you start dealing with multiple outputs, you'll need to set filters on the sorters. Left click on the sorter and a menu will appear. Use the arrow keys to select the material that you would like to sort. Number 16, world lines. Pay attention to the grid, especially near the equators and poles. If you're planning to build a bus or some sort of organized factory system that you want to develop yourself, keep these grid lines in mind. Unlock God mode for easy building. Go into the settings menu, Select Gameplay, scroll down to Building View Mode and change it to God Mode. This doesn't make you a god, it just lets you build further away from your mech. Pretty cool if you're looking for a different experience. Last tip, if you aren't using Seed 0004 then you can get out of here.